hello friends so welcome back to another video so in this video we are going to solve this problem Jim and the orders so I'll read the statements Jim's burger has a line of hungry customers orders vary in the time it takes to prepare them determine the order determine the order the customers receive the, their orders start by numbering each of the customers from 1 to n front of the line to the back you will be then uh, given an order number and a preparation time for each customer. The time of the delivery is calculated as a sum of the order number and the preparation time. If two orders are delivered at the same time, assume they are delivered in ascending customer number order. So from these statements, what we have understood is we have to number our customers from 1 to n, from front to back, and then we'll be given an order number and preparation time for each each of the customers and uh, in the order the time delivery is calculated by uh, summing these numbers that is order number and preparation types and whichever number is less so that customer will be uh, delivered first so here is an example you'll see there are five number of customers and each receive an order number that is order of i and a preparation time prep of i so here you will see there are five customers so there will be, there will be five numbers that is one two three four five and the order number is eight five six two that is first customer has uh, a given order number eight and second customer has has an order number of five three has an order number of six four has two and five has four and the respective preparation time for the customers are like this this order will take 3 minutes, this order will take 6 minutes, this order will take 2 minutes, 3 minutes, 3 minutes and uh, serve time will be addition of these two that is 8 plus 3 equal to 11, 5 plus 6 11, 6 plus 2 equal to 8 and so on. So you will see that addition of these two that is order number 2 having preparation time 3 uh, is 5 which is less among all of these. So customer number 4 will get the food first. So uh, these numbers are arranged in an ascending order. So you will see that 5, 7, 8, 11 and 11 are the serve time of these customers and uh, respective customer number is uh, written here in, a, in that order. That is 5 serve time is having 4, um, customer number 4 is having 5 minutes of serve time. So that customer will get served first. And this serve time 7 is having uh, with respect to this customer number 5 so that that customer will be served after this 4 and so on. But uh, in this case uh, if the both customer having same serve time then whichever customer uh, order number is first uh, that is whichever customer number is first uh, that will be served first that is here whenever the order uh, the, whenever the serve time is equal then the customer number will be taken into account that is uh, this one number and not the order number but the customer number this one will be taken into account and that customer will be served first so by having all this information we'll go to the function but before going to the function uh, we'll uh, read this function description so this order that is order number and the preparation time is given into uh, in a 2d array so from that 2d array we have to extract the information of order and preparation time so there they have been given an another example also so do remember that this is an order number and not the customer number customer number is uh, what we have to give to them and not what they are giving so here, here also you will see this is the customer number and this is the serve time. The customer number and this is the preparation time. This is the customer number and this is the preparation time. And addition of both these, both of these, is uh, is uh, is the serve time. That is five plus six equal to eleven is a serve time for the customer number three. As the first customer is this, uh, second customer is this, third customer is this. And this first index is the order number and this second index is the preparation time. So that's all 
uh, we need to solve this problem so i'll make it as a full screen and here you will see that they have given order rows order columns and this is the 2d array and this is the result count uh, so result count uh, we any result count we can predict that the number of rows in the in the 2d array is equal to resultant count so here you will see there are three number of rows in uh, 2d array so that that means there there will be uh, having three uh, elements in the resultant array that's why that is what we are going to declare first that is result count equal to of rows and after that you will see that the return type is a integer pointer that is an array so we'll need an array so we'll we'll declare two arrays in the first array what we are going to do we are going to store the customer number uh, which will be uh, simply uh, numbers from 1 to n that is numbers from 1 to order of rows that is uh, what that is uh, from if th if we are having three rows then in that array we'll store numbers uh, from 1 to th that is 1 2 3 and so on uh, with respect to the number of orders number of rows for that i am going to declare array that is array customer using malloc size of each element will be size of int and size of will be multiplied with of our first array which will store the number of customers that is customer number and we'll take an another array this array we are going to store the serve time that is also a dynamically allocated array size of each element will be size of int and the number of elements in the array will be same as orders of rows and we'll initialize this uh, serve time uh, using memset we are going to initialize this array so memset will take the first argument as the array and second argument as the value which we have to set so we are going to set zero in each index of this serve time and the size of the array will be size of int orders of rows by doing this we are setting uh, we are initializing each uh, element in this uh, serve time array to zero so that's what we are doing in this array and after that what we are going to do is we are going to number our customers from 1 to n so n will be here or order of rows so for that we'll need a for loop uh, we'll use i variable starting from i equal to 0 till condition will be i less than order of rows then modification that is i plus plus and after that what we are going to do is we are going to initialize this customer array customer of i will be equal to i plus 1 so as uh, we, are uh, we are starting this for loop with uh, 0 but the customer number is starting from 1 so that's why we have to uh, add 1 into this i as we have not declared this i we are going to declare here so customer of i will be initialized with equal to i plus 1 so that way the numbering from 1 to n that is order of uh, rows will be given to the each customer and after that we will count the serve time for each customer serve time of i will be equal to serve time of i plus order of 
orders of i at zero. So at the zero, uh, this is a two D array. So at the i, uh, we'll have the first customer that is the order number at i of zero. So that uh, i of zero will be added into this serve time. And after that, what we have to add, we have to also add the preparation time. So we'll add it to this serve time, having same uh, statement, but here the index will be i of one. So this uh, at i of zero order order number will be added into this serve time, and at i of one, the preparation time will be added into this serve time. So initially serve time was zero as we have done it in the main set, and after adding these two. The actual serve time will be set into this serve time of i. So, at the index i in the customer, the customer array at the index i, the customer will be set, and at that index only, we'll have the serve time for that particular customer. So uh, here you will see at i of zero, uh, customer number will be one, and at uh, serve time of zero, uh, Serve time of that customer will be stored. So after that, what we are going to check, we are going to uh, sort this serve time, uh, and we are going to again uh, sort this uh, customer array with respect to this serve time. So for that, in, we'll use one more for loop that is starting from i equal to zero, then i is an order of goes minus one then i plus plus and then we are going to sort if serve time of i is greater than serve time i plus But we have to do it uh, again and again. That is, we have to check for the previous uh, indexes also. So for that, we have to use one more loop. That is, starting from j equal to zero, j will be less than order of rows minus i minus one. So we have to check for only previous indexes. That's why we are doing it. And j plus plus. So this J also need to be declared. I have declared J at the starting of this, and after that we'll use this J variable sort this serve time array, and we are going to sort this customer. Uh, we are going to change this customer array according to the serve time. So at the end of the sorting, we'll get the correct order in which. The customer will be served. So what we are going to do whenever serve time of j jth index is greater than serve time of j plus one. So at that time, uh, we have to we have to change their position. We are going to swap the values at this serve times. At uh, we are going to swap these values. That is, at j plus one is swapped with uh, j. That we are going to do using third variable. Third, using third variable, we are going to swap this. So at the temp, I have stored serve time of j, and store this serve time of j plus one be equal to serve time. Serve time. A temp. We have sorted the serve time, but we also have to sort the respective index of the customer. So that way only we can sort. At the end of this for loop, order for loop, we'll get this correct order in which customers are sorted. So. For that, we are going to use again this temp. We are going to use the same formula. 
that is customer of j plus one here we have to store j plus one and customer of j plus one is equal to customer of j and customer of j So by doing this, what we are going, what we have achieved is we have sorted, sorted this term time. And according to the serve time, we have sorted customer number. As we are doing it in a loop of uh, this uh, j so that will be checked uh, with that will be checked uh, again and again till this condition is satisfied until this loop is completed so as we have not declared this temp we are going to declare it at the start of this so that way this error is gone after doing this uh, these for loops at the end of this uh, outer for loop, we'll get the sorted uh, customer. Uh, we'll get the customer array in such a way that uh, the order is served. So as we have sorted this, uh, as we have changed, as we have swapped this customer number with respect to sorting this serve time uh, in ascending order. So at the end of this for loop, we'll get a customer number in such a way that the order will be served. So we'll run the code to check if it is running, if it is satisfying all the conditions. See so for yourself that the first two cases are solving. So I'll submit the code. We will see that all the cases are satisfying this. Uh, so this code is satisfying all the conditions. If you have any doubts, do let me know in comments. And thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos.